All right, so now while Ramona Ward and JaVale Lang Nelson syndrome were abnormalities in potassium channels, Brugada syndrome is due to an abnormality in a cardiac sodium channel. Now this is an autosomal dominant inherited mutation and it's most commonly seen in Asian males. Now this mutation results in reduced influx of sodium into the epi and endocardial cells, but not the myocardial cells. Now remember, when we have different depolarization frequencies within the heart in adjacent areas, this sets us up for the creation of microcircuits, which can place us at risk for ventricular arrhythmias. Now this unbalanced depolarization activity also leads to unbalanced repolarization activity throughout the ventricles. And this actually shows up on an ECG, it's ST segment elevations. Now these ST elevations create something what's called a pseudo right bundle branch block. And do you know which leads this can be seen in? There you go, the precordial leads, V1, 2, and 3. Now how do you think you can treat these patients? There you go, you can put in an ICD. These patients are particularly high risk for ventricular arrhythmias, as we stated earlier, particularly ventricular fibrillation and sudden cardiac death. Now you'll likely not have to read an ECG for this complex syndrome, but be prepared to have the ECG finding described to you, as well as presented with a vignette describing a patient with a family history of V-fib or sudden cardiac death at a young age.